Good morning. My name is John, and this is the Homestead Diary. Out for an early morning walk in the orchard, just kind of checking things out. We've got, uh, well, I should say from the satellite photos, when we were looking at the place, it appeared that there were around 30 fruit trees, uh, but apparently the uh, state of the soil here it makes it difficult for them to penetrate the ground when they're young, and so there were a number of them that just basically toppled over like, like that one just toppled over and uh, just died. And so they require apparently a bit more staking than other types of soil. But also on this part of the property, the soil is particularly poor. Um, I don't know what was here before or what they did, but the layer of topsoil that you would expect to be on the surface is basically gone. Um, there's a little bit, but the trees seem to be doing okay. I'm not certain how long they've been here. Um, I would guess some of them have been here 10, maybe 15 years. Uh, some of them maybe only five or six. But the ones that are remaining seem to be doing pretty good. We've got, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe they are peach trees. And then there are half dozen apple trees. And they seem to be pretty happy. Uh, they've been blooming, uh, taking their turns blooming. Uh, since about mid-March or so and uh, just been kind of watching the weather and holding my breath and hoping that it's not going to dip too far below freezing. Uh, we've, we've had a couple of light frosts uh, since the trees started blooming uh, but fortunately they haven't really had to endure much and so hopefully we'll get a, a fruit crop this year. I was looking at the, the weather prediction and uh, earlier in the week it was saying that we were going to have a day that got down to 32 or maybe even 30 and something like that. But now uh, they've changed their minds. It's amazing how the weatherman does that. Uh, one of the things that I'm learning about trees, and I've, I've only started noticing it because they happen to be sitting next to each other, is apple trees uh, bloom later than peach trees, as well as uh, later than pear trees. We have a, a lone pear here, uh, the, the one with the white blossoms. And, I don't know, I kind of question whether or not it's even a uh, fruit-bearing pear. Uh, the lady who uh, sold us the place said, that, oh, it needs a friend. And not that I've done any research, but it sounds a little weird because the, uh, the bees are certainly happy with it. Anyway, uh, it seems like in this part of the world, we need to be planting more apple trees. And, in fact, we have more peach trees than anything. And so, I see literally doubling the size of the orchard but doing that with apple trees and instead of having I believe there are six apple trees having like I don't know 20 apple trees because uh, why because we love apples because apples are easy apples are awesome for juice and awesome for making cider and awesome for making uh, adult beverages and all that kind of stuff and the fact that they come on with their blossoms uh, I don't know, at this point, they haven't even started blooming yet. They've just started leafing out a little bit. Um, but the fact that they start doing their thing a little bit later, I, I think could be a great benefit here because uh, less chance of getting ruined by frost. So that's kind of where I'm at. And uh, not that we can really afford to buy a bunch of apple trees. We could propagate them, but how long is that going to take? And how long do we have before we can't get apples in the grocery store? And so I think uh, I've seen, uh, I wouldn't call them mature trees, but, but uh, trees that are maybe an inch and a half in diameter that are for sale at some of the local stores, well, local big box stores, and they're around 20 bucks a piece, something like that. So we might pick up three, four, five, something like that next time we're in the big city. So we shall see. But anyway, it's a beautiful morning. I'm surrounded by chickens, and I hope you all have a blessed day.